Greetings gastronauts, this is Keith Cooks, I'm Keith and today I'm going to do a different kind of burger. I'm going to make a pork, chipotle and fennel burger. So it's a little bit Mexican flavoured and I'm also going to make some guacamole to go with it and maybe some coleslaw. So I'm doing this because we're hurtling into summer, although you wouldn't think so from the weather outside today, it's not nice. But I've realised that uh, a lot of the recipes that I've been doing the last few months have been beige and I want to stop doing beige food for a bit, even though I love it. So this will be nice and colourful and uh, tasty too. So if you enjoy this video, give it a like, share, subscribe, etc. And let's get on with it. All right, I'm going to make the burger mix first. So I've got 450 grams of minced pork. I've got a small onion, a clove of garlic, a teaspoon of chipotle chili powder, a teaspoon of fennel seeds, also a teaspoon of thyme, and a teaspoon of smoked paprika or pimenton, which is the good stuff. To assemble your burgers, you'll want some buns, some cheese, and all the other usual stuff. First job, finely chop the onion. Second job, crush the garlic. Now I just need to slightly crush the fennel seeds because they're, well, they're, they're a bit like sort of bird seed at the moment. They get stuck in your teeth and things. I'll just break them up a little bit. I'm not going to turn them into a powder. Right, now I can mix it all together. I'll get the meat out of the fridge. I'm wearing a glove because uh, of course I don't want to stain my fingernails with the paprika and stuff. Actually just a half teaspoon of the chipotle chili because we don't want it that hot. if uh, fennel is a traditional sort of Mexican flavour but I have been using it a lot recently when I make meatloaf or something like that with pork mince and the fennel just goes brilliantly. All right just uh, give it a good old squish together. I've actually got the glove on the wrong hand because I'm left-handed. <laughs> when that's all nicely combined stick it in the fridge until you're ready for it. I'm going to make up a little sauce for the burgers it's quite simple, but it's it's slightly make it up as you go along. So I've got a tablespoon or two of tomato ketchup. I need a new jar of Dijon mustard, but one teaspoon of that. Half teaspoon of demerara sugar. Teaspoon of chipotle chili paste, or you could use the chili powder that we had before. And a sploosh of Vinegar, this is balsamic, red wine, vinegar would be just as good. And give it a taste. Ooh, that was really nice. That's really, really smoky from the uh, chipotle. There's a little bit of heat creeping up on me, but uh, not too much. I like that. I'm going to make some apple slaw, because that'll go really well with the pork. So I've got carrot. I've got a little food processor and I want a chunk of cabbage. It'll be about the same weight as uh, the carrot. Okay, that's not going to go in. So just whiz that in with the grater and the cabbage. And the rest of the cabbage. And I'll transfer that to a bowl. Now I've changed the blade in here to the slicer and I've got half red onion and I'm going to slice that. The apples, if I actually had a an apple corer, I would core them, but I don't. So I just have to cut it like that. And pop those in and slice them. Okay, we'll add those to the carrot and the cabbage. Mix that together, drizzle some lime juice over it, and quite a lot of mayonnaise, and just stir that well. 
get everything coated. Got all my bits and pieces prepped for the burgers. So I've got some lettuce chopped up, I've got some cornichons, or you know, pickles, dill pickles, a couple of lime quarters, a couple of tomatoes sliced, my muffins cut in half, four slices of cheese, that's mature cheddar, the sauce, the burger mix divided into four equal balls. And the last thing to do before we start cooking is make the guacamole. This is best when it's as fresh as possible. So you don't want it hanging about really. But it doesn't take long. Slice your onion and dice it. So that was half a red onion. A tomato finely sliced and diced. A small handful of coriander, cilantro, finely chopped. Also, <laughs> one red display chili. I'm not going to put that in because uh, there's enough hot stuff going on elsewhere. And uh, as you know, we're not big fans of hot stuff. And two ripe avocados. Keep the pips because uh, apparently they will help it keep, stay fresh if there's any left over. I actually don't get avocados. I don't understand what the attraction is. It's, uh, but a lot of people do apparently. Avocado on toast is reckoned to be one of the most popular breakfasts in the UK these days. Beats me. Good squeeze of lime juice. And smoosh it all together with a fork. It's fairly coarse, but that's how I like it. If you want it smoother, well, you know, maybe whack it in a blender, but I like that you can actually see what's in it and taste it, and that is lovely. Mm -mm. Okay, that's enough prep. Let's do some cooking. I'm using my cast iron griddle plate to cook the burgers on. So I've got it spanning two burners and you want to get it smoking hot. And I'm only going to cook two burgers at this time. So I've got two bowls of the mixture, put them on a hot plate and squash them flat with an oiled spatula. Let them cook for three or four minutes and then turn them over and give them another three or four minutes. Once you've turned it over, put a slice of cheese on it. And after three or four minutes, take its temperature. And the recommended temperature for minced pork is 71 degrees Celsius. But if it's like about 65 when you take it off, that's okay. Because we're now going to rest it on a, a warmed plate and cover it with a, a bowl or, or something for about 10 minutes. And the residual heat will cook it a bit more. While the burgers are resting, you can lightly toast the inside of your muffins or your burger buns. I'm using English muffins or English oven bottom muffins because I, you know, to me, they are perfect for burgers. They're strong enough to hold together throughout the entire burger consumption experience. Unlike actual burger buns, which just fall apart immediately, a lot of foodies go on about brioche burger buns and they're not good either. While we're on the subject of things that don't work in burgers, Uncooked lettuce doesn't work in burgers, it just goes limp and horrible. So I'm going to char some of this on the griddle. Right, burger assembly time. So that's the bottom bit and we want plenty of this lovely sauce that I made. And I'll put my charred lettuce on. Could have charred it more. And the patty and the cheesy. And that's really all it needs. And um, um, some pickles. Maybe some ketchup or some mayo. Just to give it a bit more juiciness. Or actually some mustard would have been good. But never mind. And then we've got our sides, our guacamole and apple slaw. Well now, it's taste test time and oh, I am ready for this. So here's me burger. Mm-hmm. Crunchy lettuce. Oh, ooh. 
all kinds of stuff going on there. There's smoke, there's lime, there's... Hmm. 20 kids next door playing football. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear that. Hmm. Oh, that's not bad at all. Guacamole. Yeah, I reckon that's still very nice. And some apple store. Oh, that's fabulous. <laughs> really nice. That was definitely worth waiting for. So, thanks for watching and see you next time.